everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. In this episode we'll be doing a 100cc Star Cup with Luigi. Hints by the name, in this video it will be the first video I'm using my new Pro Controller instead of those Joy-Cons which have issues. So there should be no Joy-Con problems at all. Ooh. Okay. So it may feel a bit weird because it's my first time using Pro Controller. A Pro Controller. I am in Ford. Not doing the best, but that's okay. I'm guessing da Daisy will be our rival for this Grand Prix with Luigi. I guess it makes sense. Okay. Oh, red shell. Okay. Didn't hit us the red shell. Oh, there's a blue shell. Well, we got a coin. Another red shell. And it'll hit us this time. Not sure if you're hearing the noise of my controller. <laughs> I just made a noise on purpose there. Let's get these boosts. Oh no, not that one. Then get okay. I'm not really getting much spacing between us and the CPUs. That could be bad if some bad luck happens, like getting hit by an item. Okay. So far so good though. No items hitting us anyway. Well it is oh oh ah oh, that didn't really hit because lightning struck us so I just cancelled the hit. I would rather lightning than a red shell, because with lightning, everyone gets hit by lightning. But with a red shell, it's probably only one person. Maybe more if it's a triple red shell, or we'll say. But not everyone. Even though they do this thing with lightning of how if you're in 11th place and got struck by lightning, you'll go back to normal quickly. But if you're in first, we'll say, it'll take way more longer. Well, maybe not way more, but you can tell the difference, obviously. Second race. Now this course, I forgot the name. Was it Dolphin Shore? I don't know. Well then, in this course, I used to not really like this course, mainly because there were many ways you could just go in dirt patches. I guess you can use like a character with high grip on this course but then I started liking it because of this section right here because there's many ways to go and I do like courses with many ways to go even if there's a bunch of areas you can slow down from dirt or like I don't like courses underwater mainly I don't like lava courses like Bowser Castle courses I love. For me, in my opinion, my favorite Bowser Castle course would be the one from Mario Kart 7. Weird pick, but I think. Blue Shell. 
I should one course just count how many times I get hit by a blue shell. Or just get hit in general. <laughs> That'll be fun to see. Or well, start counting now, but the race hasn't just started. Bit of spacing from the CPUs, not too much though. Daisy is not even in second, Daisy's in fourth. Tanuki Mari is in second. I really want to make a episode well not an episode but a tips and tricks guide on like best car combinations of this game i'm not sure when i'll do it though probably not now sometime sometime which i don't know i did get the planning out on how it would work and the car combinations but i don't know when i'll do it oh blue show cancelled Feels so good with no left truck on issues, it's just your pure skill, not luck. Even though you get hit by items, but it's not too bad in this game getting hit by items compared to the same Mario Kart Wii. Where normally what happens is I'm not sure why it happens. Maybe it just happens to me, but whenever I get hit by a blue shell, after that a red shell comes and it doesn't come as quickly as that it'll just cancel and not hit, but it'll come just after blue show and i'll get hit by it and then normally weight matters like in this game weight doesn't really matter it's probably the worst stat like you don't really care about weight that much that's why i don't like speed so much because the thing with speed is it comes with weight and i don't like weight but with Minecraft, we weight weight is like it's pretty good because it's not the best or anything, but it's not the worst either. Because the fact is that normally if you can just bonk someone and they can fall to their doom. And that's what happens because normally I still play with light carts in that game. Maybe not light carts, medium weight I would say. Normally in most Mario Kart games I stick to my weight class, I normally play in my weight class. Normally I stick to between medium and um, light, or now in newer games they have five weight classes. From feather being the lightest, then light, then you have medium weight, then you have cruiser, and then you have heavy. And normally I go for lights, so like, my main is dragons in this game, so that's, dragons is a light. I think the feathers in this game are... All the baby characters and Lemmy. At least I think so. Okay, that red shell didn't hit. But in the other games, like the more older games, when there's just light, light, medium, and heavy, I tend to go for light or medium but now they have five weight classes so it's better well technically speaking in this game in mario kart it deluxe one thing i like is there's 16 different weight classes but basically it just comes down to five out of those 16 they all group like similarly and there's a big gap between maybe light and feather but in this game normally two characters are basically duplicates from each other like really similar but that wasn't the case in Mario Kart 8 because it was just five different types of characters so basically there were 30 characters actually not counting DLC I'm not going to count DLC because then it'll be hard to do the calculation so basically six characters would have all been the same which isn't really that good like it's not variety and what's the use of that much characters Besides looks, if that's your thing. Another win.
crack. Clean streak so far. And there's not enough track on issues, so we don't really have much to worry for the last race. Which will be Mount Warrior? Yeah, Mount Warrior. This course was... I like this course because there's actually some quite a few shortcuts. Which I didn't really know about because they're hard to think of. And when I knew about them, they help. Like, there's one to use a mushroom on. I thought I knew all the... When I was in Mario Kart 8, I thought I knew all the shortcuts. Before. Besides that, one time I watched a video of a shortcut in Mount Warrior. I'm not talking about the one on the first lap where you don't need a mushroom. I'm talking about the one on the second lap with the forest. I know about this one. It's hard to do though. Ah, I did it. But you do need a brake drift. Which is hard in the original Mario Kart, but in Deluxe you can brake drift. I think the developers on the game got that idea from brake drifting in Diddy Kong Racing, which was a thing. Which I did like. I have played Diddy Kong Racing, not the original, I have I played DS, which I know the original is better. Good there, got the three boosts. So it's normally if you go straight and use a mushroom, but I don't have a mushroom. But maybe on 200cc if you have a high tr traction or grip, whatever you want to call it, character, you can just run through there normally without a mushroom. My traction isn't really that good, but in 200cc it's pretty darn good. Because you can do shortcuts, which you normally need a mushroom for. But, in 200cc you're going pretty fast, so... You can still go through it at slower speed. Not top speed, but slower speed. Especially if you have a high attraction character. Basically, if you don't know what attraction is, it's the definition of, well, in my game, has grip, it's called grip. Because I'm not in America. So, basically, what it is, well, I've seen from the definition, is basically off-road from the previous Mario Kart games, and also hints by the name grip of your car, like how steady you can be, hold it, like how, s example, if it doesn't have good grip, maybe it's like a bit slippery, but I still don't know what exactly it is, but I know one fact of it is off-road. Well, we did get a three-star rank. Came first in every course. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys later, and bye-bye.